Confusion over a plot of land in a Powell County cemetery has left a grieving son looking for answers. Michael Burke explains the mix up in tonight's LEX 18 Big Story at 6. It wasn't bad enough that Brian Swango had to make funeral arrangements for his mother before Thanksgiving. When we go up there to show them where to bury her, they'd already bury somebody there. Ruby Swango apparently wrote this check back in 1992 to secure this plot of land next to her late husband who had passed three years earlier. The check was made out to Nanny Fryer, at the time the land's owner. The woman my mom bought the place up of passed away. Her children was fighting over the property. And the judge sold it, and they said this hat got mixed up. Patty Gordon resides over the Stanton Cemetery Association. Mr. Swango has one lot available to him. But it's the lot his father occupies. Patty is here simply maintaining these grounds. Her organization has nothing to do with the confusion or the 1992 sale. But she feels for Mr. Swango and tried to get him an answer. I went to the uh, clerk's office, and I looked up deeds. But that search came up empty, which actually is not uncommon. And in this cemetery, a lot of people don't get deeds when they sell lots or so buy a lot. Seems as if that's exactly what happened to Mrs. Swango 26 years ago when she bought that spot alongside her husband. That's where she wanted to be. Covering the news in Powell County, Michael Burke, LEX 18 News. Well, Brian ended up having to bury his mother in a different Powell County cemetery. We're told the plot in question was accidentally resold by the landowner's children four years after Mrs. Swango made the purchase.